can food be extreme? Yeah. And we're going to make some extraordinary extreme food. And a little bit of extra bad humor coming up next, all with X. Hello everybody and welcome to this second uh, podcast with the Headbangers Cookbook. I'm uh, really sorry about this long wait for this next one. Um, I had uh, some breakdown with my computer and, uh, and then I had exam. So, But here I am. I'm going to show you how to boil egg and how to make an omelette today. So let's just get started. Take your pot and fill it with water. We learned that last time. Don't fill it completely to the edge, um, just so uh, it won't boil out over. So we have uh, in Denmark we have uh, different sizes of eggs. Um, normally you get a medium large eggs, but uh, you can also get small eggs, and. You should be aware of that because um, I understand why people sometimes can't boil an egg because we have different sizes and we have different methods to do it. Uh, I use the method is uh, and to to bring the water to boiling, and then uh, you put the eggs uh, down in. Uh, some take cold water and uh, put the eggs in with the same and get it to boil and. But then it depends on how powerful your um, your, uh, your cooker is, and you you cannot measure that. So always boil the water and put the eggs in because then then it's the same degrees no matter how what cooker you have. So um, the water is boiling in just a second. And we're gonna put this down. Um, this is a, a medium large egg, so. I will give this six minutes for um, for a soft eggs. Then the the yolk is uh, completely soft inside. But you can also give it seven minutes. And now I'm going to give the, the another egg seven minutes, and then the yolk will be just uh, uh, just a little bit uh, fast um, uh, or hard inside. Um, so as you can see now, the water is about to boil. And uh, I'm uh, ready to put this inside. But the important thing is now to uh, to have a watch. And I forgot that. So just a minute, and I will be back. So. We'll say six minutes and uh, put both eggs in and start the time. So six minutes from now we're take, going to take the first egg out and then uh, boil the next egg uh, another minute and we, then we're going to see the difference. All right. Meanwhile, um, we're going to, um, to make an omelette uh, and I'm, gonna, I'm going to show the base uh, for making an omelette. Uh, first, I will just uh, show you that in Denmark we are um, uh, we're telling the size on the package. Uh, I don't know how you're doing in your country, but just be aware of it. Uh, here it says M slash L. It says medium large, so it's um, it's a medium size. You can also get X that are called large XL. And then it's big, and then you have to give it more minutes uh, in the water. All right. So, uh, for an omelette, you have to uh, get it out of the shell, of course, or, uh, unless you want want to chew in the shell. Um, so, put your eggs up in, not with the shell. It's a bad idea. And many, uh, maybe some of you will uh, will um, be interested in learning how to. Put the eggs uh, apart with one hand. Bob is very, 
if, I, if he thinks it's very fun that I do that. So uh, when I was, was visiting him once, then, then he wants us to learn it. So um, I use my thumb and my long finger to, uh, to tear the shell apart when, I'm, when I make the crack. So uh, these two fingers have to go each direction when, uh, when you have the crack. So you make the crack, you put your fingers in and you tear them each direction. And then you you open the X once again. Like that. The best thing um, to make an omelette with is um, its cream. Uh, I think because it gives it more, uh, it makes it more soft and more creamy, uh, and the milk have um, uh, a slight tendency to to uh, go apart. So it it makes uh, some liquid when you you have fried your your omelet on the pan, then it would uh, make a, a sort of a liquid out of it. But but it works. Uh, many people do that too. Uh, that they don't put anything in it. I like to put a little uh, bit into the eggs so it gets more creamy and uh, yeah, and makes the omelet bigger. And that's a good thing. So, um, one uh, tablespoon for uh, each egg. That's uh, a good measuring. Like that. Just a little bit. And then just mix it, but don't mix it uh, until, um, or don't mix it too much, because what you like in an omelette is that um, the the egg whites have some, I don't know what you can call it, but um, uh, when you can see here, it it hangs from this. And you don't want to mix that all out because it makes them uh, it makes it easier to turn around the pan uh, when you put it on, uh, and then it holds it together and make the form right, and that's a good thing. So like this, um, this is a, an uh, an equal uh, color uh, now. It's you can see slightly yellow, but it still have this. It's the egg white goes from my mixer, and they and we like that. And of course, remember your salt and pepper. So. We'll get, we, we will wait uh, to put it on until the the eggs is, is done. It's uh, done in about a minute now. Um, what I like to uh, use to my to my omelet is a yeah, we call it a, a liquor uh, here in um, in Denmark. Um, it's it's a soft one, um, but it can contain uh, it can take heat. So don't get any of these that will melt on the pan. It will make an awful omelette, um, but you can buy these things uh, and they can take heat and then you can just uh, form it on the pan. Um, so an important thing is also uh, oil, so uh, put some oil on your pan. Um, normally, I will not recommend olive oil to fry in. Uh, that was the first egg. I'm going to uh, get back to the oil in just a second. So we take the first egg up, and then we put cold water in. And then another egg. Gets a minute more. And 
And it's important you take cold water and not do it like I take hot water. Then it doesn't work. Um, because the cold water gets uh, is stopping the, the boiling in the egg. Because if you don't cool it down, uh, the yolk and uh, the egg white will keep boiling inside the shell. Uh, because um, the, the egg um, is basically uh, proteins, uh, completely uh, pro proteins. So, uh, and proteins uh, get uh, hot at uh, 68 degrees Celsius. And we are boiling it at 100. So, therefore, this egg is hotter than it can contain. So, you have to stop the boil, boiling inside the shell. Um, yeah. So, um, and we did that now. So, in just a second, we will, uh, we will see the difference. Like that. All right. Of course, you can just take your pot and put the cold water in, uh, but then you will have to use more cold water because uh, there's hot water in the pot and the pot is hot. And yeah, uh, so, so it takes more cold water to cool it all down uh, compared to if you put it in, in a bowl like this. But this bowl is not so big. So we have to change the water uh, because it had, um, the, the eggs have, have heated this up already. So yeah. So right now we're just gonna put it there, and in the end we will uh, see the difference. But right now we have the um, we have the pan ready, and we have the, our mixture ready for making an omelet. Um, and actually, don't be ashamed. To um, to fail in making anything with eggs in the in the chef business, it's actually actually some of the hardest thing to make perfect because uh, it's hard to control the temperature of um, of you know the the proteins and when they are coagulating and the, uh, and the, the hot pan and the hot water and when you fry and you boil and stuff like that. So it's hard to make perfect, but it's simple and easy to play with. And X is, uh, in Denmark it is, uh, quite cheap, so it's, it's easy to get to. So it's a good food and there's a lot of um, yeah, good energy in that. All right, back to the oil thing. Um, olive oil is, is not so good to fry in because it gets um, a little bit bitter when you heat it up. Uh, oil have um, different um, abilities, um, so olive oil is good for salads and marinades and stuff like that. But um, uh, um, if you take, for example, grape stones oil, uh, it is very very good to contain heat and to fry in, uh, in especially deep fry and stuff like that. Um, so, uh, but right now this was the only thing I. Uh, I had so you can do it, but just be aware of uh, not heating it too much because then it gets bitter. Um, yeah. All right. So back to uh, the pan. Get it uh, to be very hot. Uh, it's it's quite important. Um, before you put the eggs on, you will uh, you would like um, the oil to smoke a bit. Uh, because when you put the eggs on, it, uh, in the second it hits the pan, you will like it to uh, to to fry with the same and make a, a surface uh, at the eggs. And then there comes a trick here. Uh, I can see my pan is wet at the bottom. That's not good. Then there comes a trick here. Um, to make a good omelette, you will like to swing the pan like this goes around in circles because when you put the your your egg uh, eggs on uh, then when you swing it it turns around in the same uh, in the same second it hits it uh, so you could form your your omelet uh, with the, the movement of this um, and then it's basically just flipping it over 
and bake it uh, till it's done, and then you have made an omelet. It 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 takes a pra some practice, but um, when you do it, it uh, when you learn it, it, it it's it's quite easy. So put it on again because it was already hot and already ready. All right. And I can tell you that it's that it's uh, beginning to smoke now. I'm gonna turn a little bit down the heat, but still have it so it's hot. And then I'm put the, gonna put the whole egg ma mass on with the sink. And around, 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 and around. And you can see it starts to uh, get hard. You want to um, just let it sit for a bit. Make sure it's, uh, the pan is still hot because when you put some cold on the pan, then the temperature falls. Uh, uh, yeah, at the second. So a little bit around more because we're waiting for. Uh, for the X to make a surface beneath, because then it let go of the pan. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm gonna give it a little bit more heat again. Um, so in the second it have, has a surface, then you can get it loose from the pan. So make sure you have all on the edges with you. Like this. Uh oh. It's not going to be the, the prettiest one I've ever made, but it's going to be there. And then hit the pan so it goes down to the um, to the, the edge here. Um, then it's the fun part. You can always put a lot of stuff in an omelette. A cheese uh, and bacon is very good. Um, but uh, this time we're just gonna make it uh, natural. And then you have it like this, and you have to fold it. Just like this. In the chef business, you say, and, that, and then you can turn off the, uh, the cooker and just let it bake uh, with the rest of the heat from the pan. But then, um, uh, I forgot what I, what I was about to say, but um, yeah, you can put a lot of stuff in an omelette. Cheese, peas, um, bacon, ham, um, mushrooms, very good. Um, yeah, and it's it's a perfect uh, lunch dish. Um, in Denmark, I, I will eat it with uh, rye bread, some uh, tomatoes marinated in some oil, oil and some vinegar. And it's it's spot on. So yeah, now I remember what I was about to say before. In chef business, you you talk about you will like the form to be as a cigar. And I have never seen a, a, a cigar formed like this, but it's what you say. So I'm keeping I'm I'm gonna keep saying it, but as I form it now for you. You will say too, it doesn't look like a cigar. So you will have to make it like more like this is a trick with a serviette uh, or some piece of paper to just form it a bit. So if I had hit the edge of the, the plate, you will see you could put some salad here and some bread and voila, it will be perfect. So back to... Um, I'm just gonna clean up so it doesn't look that's this messy. Um, so we're just gonna peel it quickly. Another good trick when you boil um, eggs is uh, you don't want to cool it completely down 
because it's always easier to peel a, a, a slightly hard edge than to peel a cold one. And also, what helps a lot uh, with peeling eggs is to put a little bit of salt in it. Um, yeah, it has an, an effect on um, on uh, the shell uh, to let go of the of the egg. So there we go. And I can feel the difference now. You can't see it, but this one is harder than this one. This is very, very soft. So this one was the one that got a minute more than this one. So. As you can see, this is completely soft. And it, it's still liquid inside, completely out to the edge of the York. This will not be completely hard, but it will be um, uh, the edge of the York will be hard in this one. As you can see here, the edge of the York is hard and inside it's still liquid. In Denmark we call this an, an smiley egg. Um, to get it hard, just give it a, a, a one minute more. Then uh, it will be good for you know putting sandwiches or you know we eat it with the uh, eggs and shrimps. It's very good. Um, so it's it's basically that um, you have to um, to be aware of the size of the eggs, and then always have the water boiling when you put the eggs down in it. Because then it's the same no matter what cooker you are, you're boiling in it. Um, so this was uh, what I was, uh, I will uh, learn you today. Hope you get something uh, out of it. And uh, please subscribe and uh, chat with me on the, the, um, the website and uh, talk to you soon. Bye bye.